Hello everyone and welcome back to another top 5. So for today's video we are going to be talking about 5 mysterious disappearances of multiple people. Disappearances make of the sum of the world's most fascinating unsolved mysteries as it's always baffling when people go missing and no trace of them is ever found. However, it's more baffling when multiple people manage to go missing at the same time. In some of these cases it seems like abduction is the most likely scenario, but you'd think that successfully abducting more than one person would be an insanely difficult task. In other cases it is nearly impossible to dream up a concrete theory about what would happen to these people. For number 5 we have the Fort Worth 3. On December 23, 1974, 17-year-old Mary Rachel Trilica, 14-year-old Lisa Renee Wilson, and 9-year-old Julia Ann Mosley, aka the Fort Worth 3, went Christmas shopping together at the Seminaria South Shopping Center in Fort Worth, Texas. The girls never returned home and in their locked car was discovered in the mall's parking lot at 6 that night. There were Christmas presents inside indicating that the girls had done their shopping and returned to the vehicle at some point, but what became of them? The very next day, Rachel's family received a letter which was supposedly written by her. She claimed a three, the three of them had taken off to Houston for a week, but would be back. However, none of the girls ever returned and there are doubts about whether Rachel actually wrote the letter over the years. Eyewitnesses have come forward with various accounts of what happened to the Fort Worth Three. One claimed they saw the girls being forced into a vehicle by an unidentified males. Another supposedly saw them sitting in a mall security guard's truck at 11.30 that night. But none of the stories have ever been verified and their disappearance remains a mystery. Number 4. The Jamson Family Bobby Jamson, his wife Sherilyn, and their 6-year-old daughter Madison all vanished from a dirt road in a rural area of Oklahoma on October 8, 2009. The Jamsons had supposedly gone out there to look at a plot of land. Their locked pickup truck was found abandoned with their belongings still inside, along with their dog, who was nearly dead of starvation. Even though it was cold outside, the entire family left their coats behind and to make things even more mysterious, an envelope containing $32,000 was found under the seat. The family had reportedly been experiencing financial problems and also displaying odd behavior during the weeks prior to their disappearance, as both Bobby and Sherilyn claimed there were ghosts in their house. There were no signs of any foul play at the crime scene, causing speculation about whether the Jamson family might have disappeared willingly or gone off to commit a murder suicide somewhere. However, there's no strong evidence to support any of these theories, making this one of the baffling and frustrating disappearances imaginable. On to number 3, the McStay family. Joseph and Summer McStay and their two sons, 4-year-old Gianna and 3-year-old Joseph Jr., became the subject of the strangest missing persons cases of recent memory on February 4, 2010. A security camera caught the family's vehicle leaving their home in Fallbrook, California, and it was a found abandoned on February 8th at a strip mall a few blocks away from the Mexican border. Authorities eventually checked surveillance footage and saw a family who may have been the McStays crossing the border, but the image quality was too poor to be sure. Three years later, authorities seemed to be leaning towards the possibility that the McStays staged their own disappearances and left willingly. However, they had over $100,000 in their bank account, which has never been touched. And if that was really them on the surveillance footage, where did they go during the four-day period since they originally left their home? If they did cross the border into Me Mexico, what happened to them next? Numerous theories have been present about the case, but nothing seems to hold up or make any sense at all. Number 2. The Fendel Children It's horrible enough for a family to have a child go missing, but to have five of them disappear in the same night? That's exactly what happened to George and Jenny Sauter on Christmas Eve in 1945. Their family had 10 children, but after their Fayetteville, West Virginia home burned to the ground, five of them, Beatty, Jenny, Louise, Martha, and Maurice, were never seen again. The obvious explanation should be that they died in the fire, but no remains of the children were ever found, and it's extremely unlikely that the fire could have completely incinerated them. While the family did find a few remains in the wreckage, they showed no signs of fire damage and have been made stolen from a cemetery and planted there. It is theorized that the fire was started as a diversion to abduct the children as the house's phone line had been cut and their family's ladder was found in an embankment 75 feet away. There were numerous eyewitnesses sightings of the children over the years and in 1968 the family were mailed a mysterious photograph of a man 
who may have been a grown-up Louise Sauter. Sadly, George and Jenny both died without ever finding out the truth about what happened. Now for number one, we have the crew of the Sarah Joe. On February 19, 1979, five men from the Hawaiian island of Maui, Benjamin Kalama, Ralph Malansky, Scott Mormon, Patrick Wozner, and Peter Hanchett went on a fishing trip on a vessel called the Sarah Joe. The boat and its crew all vanished after a terrible storm hit the area. It would seem obvious that the five men probably got lost at sea and drowned, but things got really weird in 1988 when pieces of the Sarah Joe were found on an island over 2,000 miles away. An unmarked shallow grave was also found on the island where the remains of Scott Mormon were buried under a pile of rocks. However, no trace of the other four men was found. So if they were the ones who buried him, what happened to them afterward? And if they didn't bury him, then who did? To make things even weirder, this island had apparently already been searched a couple years beforehand, and no one found the pieces of the Sarah Joe or the grave at the time. The fate of the four other missing men and the mis mystery of how Scott Mormon was buried remains unsolved. Well, that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. I upload Saturday, 10 a.m., so don't miss me.